Over 25 years of working in Mexico, you'd run into guys who had met Chapo, who would talk about him. But with Mencho, you don't hear that. He's kind of a ghost. When you dare to trifle with El Mencho, don't ever expect a happy ending. August 14, 2016, the humid air in Puerto Vallarta was heavy with the ominous feeling of impending doom. Ivan and Jesus Alfredo Guzman, two wealthy brothers from Mexico, ventured out to celebrate Ivan's 36th birthday at an upscale restaurant in the city. As they finished their champagne and sang happy birthday at a long candlelit table in the center of the all-white room, they were suddenly surrounded by six men with assault rifles. The gunmen forced Ivan and Jesus Alfredo to their knees, and the brothers and the other men were then abducted and taken away into two waiting SUVs. The operation was brutal and quick, taking less than two minutes. The restaurant's owner would later describe it as violent but very clean. And that was how El Chapo's youngest sons were kidnapped. This operation served as the coming out party for El Mencho, the leader of the new and brutal CJNG. According to a DEA source, the CJNG leader had planned to kidnap and kill the brothers, but at the last minute, El Chapo was able to negotiate their release from behind bars in exchange for $2 million and a lot of narcotics. However, the ransom payment was merely a gesture, as El Mencho didn't need the money. He was sending a message to the Sinaloa cartel and their associates. Your king is locked up now. Don't think you're untouchable. And the warning was clear. El Mencho was coming for the throne. And ever since then, from Jalisco to California, the darkness of El Mencho's power hung over the region like a dark cloud, promising death and destruction to anyone who dared to challenge his authority. But who is El Mencho? The Face of Mexican Horror In the shadows of Mexico's criminal underworld lurks a name that strikes fear into the hearts of even the most hardened criminals. A man so ruthless and cunning that he's managed to build an empire that spans the globe in just a few years. His name is Nemesio Oseguera Cervantes, better known as El Mencho. Once a Jalisco state policeman, he now commands the deadliest, fastest growing and wealthiest drug cartel in Mexico, the cartel Jalisco Nueva Generacion, or CJNG. With a history of selling narcotics and a three-year stint in a U.S. prison, El Mencho's rise to power has been fueled by blood, money, and sheer ruthlessness. And while he remains largely unknown in the U.S., his crimes have not gone unnoticed. He's been indicted on charges of drug trafficking, corruption, and murder in a D.C. federal court with a chilling $10 million bounty on his head. Yet, despite the best efforts of U.S. authorities, he's managed to evade capture, leading many to wonder if he's truly untouchable. A former DEA agent said about him, Over 25 years of working in Mexico, you'd run into guys who'd met Chapo who would talk about him. But with Mencho, you don't hear that. He's kind of a ghost. And on top of that, El Mencho's depravity knows no bounds, even in the twisted world of narco cartels. While the notorious El Chapo was known for his brutal methods, El Mencho's violence isn't just a means to an end. It's a source of sick pleasure, a twisted form of entertainment. The CJNG's gruesome acts have left a trail of destruction across Mexico for over a decade, with mass killings, acid baths, decapitations, and even cannibalism. One such atrocity occurred when 35 bodies bound and tortured were dumped in the streets of Veracruz during the evening rush hour. Another act of terror was when they assassinated a man and his young son by detonating sticks of dynamite duct taped to their bodies, all while filming the ghastly scene on their phones and laughing with delight. And they sunk to a new low when CJNG operatives assaulted and murdered a 10-year-old girl whom they had thought was a rival's daughter. She wasn't. And now, after learning about all the atrocities El Mencho's capable of, do you think it's wise to invite the wrath of a man who would murder you and all your loved ones based on not much more than a rumor? Well, there has been those foolish enough to test the limits of El Mencho's power. The price of such audacity was almost always paid in blood. A young YouTuber's fatal mistake. Born into the darkness of the Mexican state of Sinaloa, where cartel reigns supreme and notorious drug lords wield unimaginable power, Juan Luis Lagunas Rosales was abandoned as a child and left to be raised by his grandmother. 
At the tender age of 15, Lagunas left his hometown and headed to Cuyacan, where he washed cars to fend for himself. It was there that he took on the ominous moniker that would soon be his infamous legacy, El Pirata de Cuyacan, or the Pirate of Cuyacan. As he began to attend more and more parties, Lagunas developed a taste for excessive drinking, and he wasn't shy about broadcasting his exploits on social media. His videos, in which he was shown chugging several bottles of alcohol, quickly went viral. Soon, the young man became a YouTube sensation, attracting millions of followers on Facebook and Instagram. Lagunas' social media fame brought him all sorts of perks, including appearances in music videos and promotional events. That baby face and wild clownish antics made him a hit with the masses, but it was easy to forget that he was still just a boy trying to belong in a world that knew no mercy. To appear older, Lagunas drew a beard on his chin and tattooed both his arms, a pirate on one and a tiger on the other. He posted images of himself brandishing large guns, surrounded by attractive women in luxury cars. Lagunas acted as though there were no rules, as if he was invincible. However, Lagunas would soon learn that no one was untouchable, particularly when the wrong people were crossed. A little did he know just how dire the consequences of his actions would be. On a fateful night in one of many parties, dressed in red and very proud of his extravagance, the pirate Akuya Khan acted as if he were the king of the world. It occurred to him to create a video insulting the man himself, El Mencho, whose name made everyone tremble with fear including the local and federal authorities. Beneath the surface of El Mencho's worldwide web of connections lurks a more sinister power, an iron grip on the very institutions meant to protect and serve. He wields this power with impunity, using it to silence his enemies and cement his reign of terror. One chilling example of this came to light on September 8, 2016 when the Mexican media exposed a leaked phone call between El Mencho and his corrupt police force. The chilling conversation was a stark reminder of the lengths this ruthless kingpin would go to maintain his grip on power. Delta Uno. Hey, ¿quién habla? Mira bien, hijo de tu p madre. Soy Mencho, güey. Relaja tu p gente a la verga. Soy Mencho, güey. Relaja tu p partida. Si no te voy a partir, p tienes toda tu bola de perros. Te tengo identificado 30 güeyes. Hasta tus p December 18th, 2017. And now we're back to the pirate Akuya Khan, who was out partying at a local bar with his friends when a group of armed men bursted in and unleashed a hail of bullets gunning the young man down. His body was riddled with between 15 to 18 shots and was left in a pretty bad shape that the local police wouldn't have been able to identify him if it wasn't for his tattoos. With that, El Mencho proved he was the last man anyone wanted to offend, and as for the teenage boy, his drunken bravado proved to be a fatal mistake. But apparently, this tragedy wasn't enough for people to learn the lesson. Unfortunately, the pirate Akuya Khan wasn't the last evident example of the dire fate that awaits whoever messes with El Mencho. And just like the pirate, those brazen enough to try never live to tell the tale. Yesterday's friend, today's enemy. If you were ever part of El Mencho's deadly CJNG and witnessed firsthand the horrors he's capable of, would you ever dare to cross him? Certainly I wouldn't, but one man wasn't as wise. At his peak, he was known as El Cholo, a ruthless gangster and presumed head of the Nueva Plaza cartel. His throne crumpled down, and his reign came to a gruesome end when his lifeless body was found wrapped in plastic on a park bench in downtown Tlaquepeque, the Mexican state of Jalisco. And by then, all the fearsome titles were gone. He was simply Carlos Enrique Sanchez, a name added to the long list of Mexico's bloody cartel war. Yet who would have the guts to take down a man like El Cholo? Maybe somebody more menacing and ruthless. And doesn't El Mencho just fit that glove? El Cholo was once a loyal member of the notorious CJNG. Some even said that he was El Mencho's right hand. But power and greed led him to break away from the CJNG in 2017, after allegedly ordering the execution of El Colombiano, the financial operator for the CJNG, who had uncovered El Cholo's shady dealings. El Cholo formed his own gang, the Nueva Plaza Cartel, funded by the Sinaloa cartel. 
one of CJNG's biggest rivals. The two forces battled fiercely for control over Mexico's western states for years, leaving a trail of blood and destruction in their wake. March 18, 2021, a video surfaced on the internet, showing a man in a red Lacoste shirt sitting in a chair, shoulders slumped and eyes sunken, as if he had given in to his soon-to-come fate. Behind him stood several masked men, armed to the teeth, giving a hint of what was waiting for the defeated man. The distraught man, who was later identified as El Cholo, started looking to his side, apparently reading off a number of talking points. He took the blame for numerous violent incidents that took place across Mexico, including an attack on the U.S. consulate. He also ratted several top police officers, whom he claimed have been working by his side to bring down the CJNG. He specifically claimed to be working with Omar Garcia Harfush, controversial top cop known for his ruthless tactics and unwavering determination to take down the cartels. In 2020, Garcia Harfuch narrowly escaped death in a hail of bullets, courtesy of alleged CJNG gunmen. But he was quick to deny all claims, saying he won't pay attention to the words of a criminal kidnapped by other criminals, as if he knew for sure that the men behind El Cholo belonged to the CJNG. At the end of the video, El Cholo advised his supporters to stop following him and dedicate more time to their families. And nearly on the brink of tears, he finished the video by saying, Look how I ended. Just imagine being forced to read those words, knowing exactly what's to come. Shortly after the video went viral, the disfigured body wrapped in plastic was found on the park bench. He was shot in the head several times and was clearly severely tortured before the final bullet put an end to his misery. But the authorities were able to identify the body before even taking it to the morgue because a sign was pinned to his chest with two knives, reading in Spanish, The Traitor El Cholo. A Sicaria Never Heard From Again In the dark and ominous world of Mexican organized crime, every move could be your last and the infamous hit woman known as La Cholita was not immune to this harsh reality. She was a member of not one, but two of the most dangerous cartels in Mexico, the La Nueva Familia Michoacana Cartel and the Viagras Cartel. But it was her brazen social media posts that sealed her fate. She took to her profiles to share videos, taunting and challenging her rivals from the CJNG and insulting their leader, El Mencho. And well, such audacity did not go unnoticed. According to reports in one of her last videos, La Cholita called members of the CJNG a bunch of cowards after they reportedly abandoned a pickup truck filled with firearms. And shortly after, the Sicaria vanished without a trace. The silence from her end is deafening, and those who know her fear the worst. And so the question remains, what has become of La Cholita? Has she met a gruesome end at the hands of the CJNG like her predecessors, or is she being held captive somewhere, waiting for her fate to be decided? The answer remains a mystery, but one thing's for sure. When you dare to trifle with El Mencho, don't ever expect a happy ending.